Welcome back, dog. Let's delve into a sizzling topic today. Web 3. JS versus Ethers, JS. The age-old debate that separates the JavaScript blockchain ecosystem like cats and dogs. Laughing yet? Ha, much like everything with you, cat. I hope it's not just fur heated bluster and you've brought some solid points to the table. Very well. I must mention though, the Web3 JS library, I reckon, breeds code complexity. Ouch, sharp claws out already, cat. But think about it, the versatility of Web3. JS allows developers to interact with a local or remote Ethereum node using HTTP, IPC, or WebSocket. I don't deny its complexity adds versatility, but when it comes to readability, it's easy for developers to get their whiskers twisted. Can't say the same for ethers. JS. Simple, easy to read codes akin to catnaps. As if dogs don't enjoy naps too. Remember, simplicity isn't always virtuous, cat. Ethers. JS might look neat and curled up like a cat, but Web3. Jace's broad functionality is its strength. And it's Achilles heel. Don't you realize, dog, code complexity is more than just a perfectly fine intellectual challenge. It raises the risk of bugs sneaking in. Well, that's one way to look at it, cat. But every good dog knows that when you dig a little deeper, you may find the bone. That's it with Web3, JS. Once you familiarize yourself, it's a doggone good library. A bone that's tough to chew on, you mean? As an elegantly purring choice, Ethers, JS is lightweight, optimized, and modular. See, cat, the beauty of coding is that it's varied, like our tastes. Some prefer a fetch game with Web3, JS. Some enjoy a lazy stroll with Ethers, JS. A walk along the blockchain park. Now, that's an image. With that, Let's leave our friends to meditate on our small tussle. Until next time, keep it simple and readable, folks. And versatile. Don't forget versatile. Until next time, chase after the best library for your needs.